ever wondered if ticks and fleas can cause more than just itching in your pets? Well, the answer is a resounding yes. These tiny pests, which bite and feed on your animal's blood, may do much more than just make them itch. They can spread a long list of diseases that can sicken your furry companions. Let's delve into some of these diseases and their symptoms. First on the list is anaplasmosis, a bacterial infection whose symptoms can look very similar to those of Lyme disease, including fever and lack of energy. Your pet may stop eating or be unable to stand or walk. Some dogs and cats with anaplasma can also have nosebleeds or other bleeding problems. Then there is babesiosis, a condition where parasites destroy your dog's red blood cells. It's not been reported in cats in the US. The animal's gums may be pale and the whites of their eyes may look yellow-orange. They also may get weak, have a fever and lose weight. Next up is ehrlichiosis, a disease that most often comes from the bite of a tick. Like anaplasmosis, it can make your dog or cat vomit, avoid food and have nosebleeds. Symptoms pop up one to three weeks after the bite. It can be treated if caught early. Hepatozoonosis is a severe and sometimes deadly disease that doesn't come from a tick bite. It happens if your dog or cat eats an infected tick or something infested with it. Talk to your vet if your pet doesn't want to stand or move or seems to lack muscle strength. Lyme disease, just like people, dogs can get it from the bite of a tick. This infectious disease is so common that more than half the dogs in New England have had it. Cats can also get infected with Lyme, but not as frequently as dogs. Only about one in 10 dogs with Lyme have symptoms like fever, sluggishness, and lameness that require treatment. Rocky Mountain spotted fever, despite its name, affects dogs and people, but no other animals, all over the country. Mice, rats, rabbits and other small mammals carry the bacteria. Ticks feed on them and then spread the disease through bites. Common symptoms of a mild case include coughing, diarrhea and vomiting. If your dog has a severe case, you may see redness in the eyes, nosebleeds, blood in the urine or stool, and problems standing or walking. Cytozoonosis comes from ticks that feed on bobcats. It doesn't affect dogs, but can be deadly to cats. It spreads quickly and leads to breathing problems, loss of appetite, jaundice and coma. Moving on to diseases caused by fleas, there's dermatitis, an allergic reaction to flea bites. It can make your pet's skin red, scabbed and very itchy. Then we have tapeworms, which your dog or cat could get from eating a flea or something else that has tapeworm eggs. These parasites live in your pet's small intestine and steal nutrients from everything you feed it. Hair loss can also be a result of flea infestation, but it's not from the fleas themselves, but from all the itching and biting. Fleas can trigger allergies that make your pet so itchy that they scratch their fur into bald spots. Both ticks and fleas can spread Bartonella. It's better known as cat scratch disease, but it infects both cats and dogs. Look for fever, joint pain, and any unusual behaviors. Now you might be wondering what you can do to protect your pets from these diseases. Here are a few tips. Fleas love dark, moist areas. Once a week, groom your pet with a flea comb and wash its bedding. Ask your vet about the best flea control product for your pet. Some flea medication also controls ticks. Be consistent and vigilant in your pet care routine. In conclusion, while ticks and fleas might seem like just an annoying part of pet ownership, their impact can be much more serious. Being aware of the diseases they can spread and taking preventative measures can help keep your furry friends healthy and happy. It's not just about avoiding the itch, it's about ensuring the well-being of your beloved pets.